<laughs> you know, it's me, your little boy, Iki something. Listen, they can't stand. <laughs> you know, they can't stand without you. <laughs> I do used to tell them, when, when, when choosing ones leave you, something leave. <laughs> yes, believe me. When the woman of issue of blood was, was telling them, you know, when she was imagining within her, he said, if only I can touch the, what, the cloth, if only I can touch the garment, if only I can have a touch of him, ah, everything will be okay. <laughs> and, you, you know, the moment he touched, he touched Christ, ah, Jesus said, ah, someone have touched me. Peter was like, ah, who else, master? We have a lot of crap. People are even what, hugging you. People are even what, hugging you. People are even ready to kiss you. People are even ready to touch you. People are even ready to carry you. People are even ready to use you like umbrella. People are even ready to, to, to hug you like their brethren. You know, how, how can you say that someone touched you? He said, no, something have left me. <laughs> God damn. And Peter was like, Master, what are you saying now? Master, we don't understand you. Many people are here and you're saying someone. He said, no. Something different have left me. Something what quite different have automatically what left me. And the Bible says immediately, the woman of issue of blood do what? Stand up. Why am I saying this? There are a lot of people up there who have fully come to realize that you are the sources of their, what, of their standing. There are a lot of people up there who are secretly what regretting right now why they ever leave you why they ever do what left you because they know that their foundation is shaking look at the life of what they, you know look at the life of this man called what joseph the moment joseph leave his brethren what happened they were not able to to do or to handle what hun hunger they were not able to handle what they paid they were not able to stand again they start to move around seeking for food because the what the the the, the foundation that's what the bible says if the foundation is being destroyed what can the righteous <laughs> so you are the reason why a lot of people were doing well you are the reason why they were what is selling, progressing, succeeding, but they misuse the opportunity. They misuse it because their thought was that they will still be a selling, no matter what they do, no matter how they treat you, no matter what they do to you, they will still be progressing. But right now, believe me, they are really regretting why they take advantage of you. They are really regretting why they treated you bad. They were really regretting why they do you the things that they have done to you. A lot of people up there are severely regretting every single thing that they have done. Because they never believe it will happen like this. They never thought it would end up like this. The way they, the way they thought it was that, the, all they thought was that it's going to end up for good that if they leave you you will no longer be able to stand you will no longer be able to essay you will no longer be able to progress you will no longer be able to succeed but everything shocked them everything automatically shock your enemy because now they are hopeless just because of your accent they are hopeless just because of your what your disappearance they are hopeless why because you are no longer what around them they are no longer doing well succeeding why because you are what you are no longer available around them and that is why many of them are frustrated that is why majority of people up there are sick because everything is what is shocking them you know what i'm saying <laughs> they are really regretting why they ever do what let you go. They are really regretting why they ever treated you the way they treated you. They are really regretting every single thing, every single day, every single ways that they have treated you. But it's too late. You know what I'm saying? It's too late and it's, it's automatically hurting them. You know what I'm saying? It's automatically hurting your enemy because you are making it and yet they are not. You are succeeding, they can see it, but yet they are not. Because their thought was that no matter how, no matter what they do to you, no matter how they treat you, they will still be progressing. No matter everything or whatsoever that they may do, they will still be excelling. That is all they thought. But everything ends up 
disappointing them. Because many of, because not many, they are not. Because they are not succeeding, they can feel it. But what shocked them is that you keep excelling while they keep what failing. They can't stand anymore. And that is really what frustrating them. Remember, blessed me, God blessed you.